So this is problem 9.2.13, and I'm guessing that the difficulty in this problem actually comes from some bad typesetting, where you might think this is x to the power of 4, but I'm actually pretty sure that's x times the fourth root. So this is really the integral of x times the fourth root. The 4 goes with the root sign, x plus 19 dx. Now some of you on your problem, this is just a normal square root, some of you might be a third root, some of you a fourth root, but I'm pretty sure that number is supposed to go with the root sign and not with the x. And so really then this is x times our x plus 19 to the power of 1 fourth dx. Now I always try u substitution first before I try integration my parts. But looking at this, if I made the inside of x plus 19 my u, then the derivative of that will just be 1, and I don't have a way to get rid of this x. And because I can't get rid of this x, I know I'm going to need to do integration by parts. Now our formula for integration by parts says if you have the integral of f times g, then this is f times capital G. Minus the integral of the derivative of f times capital G. Now, capital G means that you have to integrate G. So let's look at our problem here. Let's let x be our f. Usually the least complicated thing is going to be our f. And let's let this whole piece be our g. So f equals x, g equals x plus 19 to the 1 fourth power. And then let's find the derivative of f, because we'll need that in our formula, and derivative of x is just 1. And then to get capital G, you have to take the integral of this x plus 19 to the 1 fourth power dx. Now at this point, you need to stop here and do u substitution. So do you, you do u substitution on your own. Go ahead and try it. I'm just going to tell you what it would be. It would end up being x plus 19 to the power of 5 fourths divided by 1 fourth. Or we could change that to 4 times x plus 19 to the 5 fourths. So again, do the u substitution on your own and make sure you get to the same answer. Sorry, I wasn't paying enough attention. You divide by your new power of 5 fourths which means that this is 4 fifths. So now, coming back over here, we've done all of our preliminary work over here, there. Let's go ahead and plug in. So we have the integral of f times little g, so now let's do little f times capital G. So f is x times our capital G, which was the integral of g. We have 4 fifths x plus 19 to the 5 fourths. Okay, and then we're going to minus and it's going to be the integral of the derivative of f, which is 1. This is why we like integration by parts, because we went from an x, which is complicated, to just a nice little 1, times the capital of g, which is 4 fifths, x plus 19, to the 5 fourths. Okay, let's see, so let's simplify this a little bit. We have here our 4 fifths, x, times x plus 19, to the 5 fourths, minus Okay, so now when I integrate this, the 4 fifths is just going to come out. Now this x plus 19 and 5 fourths, the integral integration is going to be just the same as what we did over here. You are supposed to use uses u substitution. Okay, go ahead and do that on your own. This the answer you're going to get though is going to be x plus 19 to the power of 9 over 4 divided by 9 over 4. So 4 fifths x times x plus 19 to the 5 fourths minus 16 out of 45 times x plus 19 to the 9 fourths plus c. Don't forget to always add in your plus c. Depending on what my math lab is feeling like on this problem, you might be able to leave it there or you might need to simplify it a little bit more. One of the things I noticed is this x plus 19 to the 5 fourths and x plus 19 to the 9 fourths. 
What if I went through here and factored out an x plus 19 to the 4 fourths? Then I'd have left uh, 4 fifths x times x plus 19 to the 1 fourth minus 16 out of 45 x plus 19 to the 5 fourths. Which might not really seem any better yet, but notice that this 4 fourths cancels. So that's just an x plus 19. And then we could probably even and so depending on how the person programmed this in my math lab, you might have different answers. Like maybe this would be your answer, except for instead of four fourths, you would just put an x plus nineteen to the power of one. One of the other things you might do is say, oh well, what if I factor out this one fourth as well? This x plus nineteen and one fourth. So then you have x plus nineteen to the 5 fourths, and we have left 4 fifths x minus 16 over 4 fifths, and you have just left x plus 19 to the 4 over 4. But 4 over 4 is just to the power of 1, so we don't really need to worry about that. This part, now we can probably simplify this a bit more. So this is x plus 19 to the 5 fourths times four ninths x minus three hundred and four out of forty five. And that would probably be nicely simplified, unless you want to maybe try and factor out a four ninths, but at this point we're kind of running out of ways to simplify. Lots of different ways you can simplify, just depending on who programmed it in, you might get any of these answers.